G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Today, we're gonna have a look at this Ugreen 7.1 USB-C adapter. We're gonna look at the functionality, we're gonna test out the temperatures, and we'll also test this out on a Windows and a MacBook to see how it reacts. Let's have a look at the ports on this adapter. We've got two USB Type-A ports, that's USB 3.0 full-size SD card reader, micro SD card reader, look on the end, we've got a gigabit ethernet port, look on the other side, we've got a USB Type-C port, which does pass-through power only of up to 100 watts, so just beware, it does not provide data, so you can't really connect this up to with flash drives or external hard drives, so just beware of this port here, it'd be nice to see this do data in the future, but at the moment it cannot, and then we've got full-size HDMI port. As for the build quality of this adapter, it is made of plastic, but it feels really nice and nicely solidly built. It's got good texture and nice color, and it's got beautiful rounded edges, so it's not going to catch on anything in all the corners as well. We do have a braided USB-C cable, which measure in from here to the very end of 25 centimeters, and we do have a nice reinforced connector at the end, too, so it should last for quite a bit of time. Testing out the maximum operating temperature of the 7.1 adapter. I had it connected to two external storages and had it transferring data while connected to a 4K display and also had it charging with 96 watt passing through the adapter. It managed to measure a maximum of 35 degrees Celsius. Now my ambient temperature in the room was 25 degrees celsius your average hand is about 34 degrees celsius at this ambient temperature so the adapter is barely warm at its maximum operating temperature which is doing very well i'm going to demonstrate the ugreen 71 adapter see how it reacts with a mac system i've got a 14 inch m1 max macbook pro and with this 71 adapter i've got it connected to a 27 inch 4K monitor by HDMI cable. I've also got the MacBook power adapter connected to it. Also have ethernet connected to it and also a USB wireless mouse. Now I'm gonna connect this up to this MacBook Pro and hopefully this will fire it up as it should automatically detect it. Now it does take a little bit of time for my monitor to actually detect it. I can see it has fired up, which is absolutely fantastic. My mouse is working, which is good to see. Now we have, we got extended view. We do have extended view on this Mac system. Now I am running Mojave, so it's not the latest one, but it still will work for the latest one here. Now I have not installed any drivers, so it's plug and play at the moment, which is absolutely great. Now we're gonna to go to display settings. I'm gonna to switch to this LG monitor, which is this 4K monitor. And I'm gonna hold down option and we'll go to scale and we can see it is running at 4K. So 3840 by 2160 and it is running at 60 Hertz as this advertiser can do 4K 60 Hertz. So it has done that absolute great to see. And while we're at it, we might as well have a look at the network. So we'll quickly go have a look at the network and I can see, we can see that we have the ethernet. Now I'm gonna unplug this just to show you that it is running the ethernet, which is good to see. And we will then, go down to the power. Now this being a 14 inch M1 Max, it requires 96 watts. And this Ugreen 7 in 1 can pass through 100 watts. So that's under the 100 watts, which is good to see. Now it does say it's running on power adapter. That is fantastic to see. And we are not getting any issues on warning messages to say this is on slow charge or anything. So it is passing 96 watts. So it does do the 100 watts pass through power. Fantastic. And as we said, we are running this USB mouse. And now I'm gonna connect the Ugreen 7.1 adapter with a Windows gaming laptop. So same connections as before, and I'm going to connect this up to the Thunderbolt 4 port or the USB Type-C port. And this is a gaming computer. It does require 230 watt power, as we have this detecting it is on probably what I say, slow charge, just because this does require 230 watt, and this is only able to provide 100 watts. And we do definitely see the second monitor, which is good to see, and it is looking at extended mode. So I'm just gonna pull this across just so you can see. And I've got the USB mouse as well too, to make that work. Now we're gonna select the second monitor here, 
and this 27 inch monitor is running at 3840 by 2160 that is 4k and go to advanced display settings and we're running at 60 hertz so this is running the 27 inch 4k monitor at 60 hertz as advertised excellent to see i do have ethernet and also again there is pass-through power and of course the usb wireless mouse is working through Overall, the Ugreen 7.1 USB-C adapter does deliver on what it advertises. It's got good build quality and is very well priced. Now, the Black Friday sales are happening very soon and Ugreen's given us a heads up. They're going to put this adapter on the Black Friday sales and be very kind to the channel because they've given us a nice promotion code to get up to 40% off this adapter. And I'll put that promotion code you can use in the description below. So definitely, if you're in the market for a port replicator, definitely something to look into as addition to your Black Friday shopping list. And I hope you find this video helpful and even support my channel, smash that like button for me. It does help me out. If you haven't that subscribe my channel, but hit that subscribe button on the screen, I do try to upload a new video every week as well. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.